Once we've removed the belly, we're going to go in and we're going to cut the chops into the individual porterhouses. On the left, you'll see the tenderloin, and on the right, you'll see the larger loin. Now, in between each of those vertebrae segments is a bone, and that's going to be your guide for separating the porterhouse into the individual chops. You just follow that bone and cut on the left side of it all the way down. And then you can use the cleaver or the saw to create notches in between the vertebrae to make that section easier to separate into the individual portions. Cut in between each cut with the cleaver is going to give you a nice clean porterhouse chop. And you'll see the darker meat of the tenderloin and the lighter meat of the loin.